All right, so today I'm going to be keying up a uh, new GMRS repeater, which was supposedly just reopened within the past couple weeks. This repeater is located in Chicago, and it's on 462.55 megahertz. Now, supposedly this repeater has been here for quite a while, uh, but I just haven't known about it because it was uh, down for a really long time, I was told. It was like um, there was some problem with it, and it was just down for a really long time, and uh, it just was uh, magically reopened within the past couple weeks, and it is uh, online and operational. Um, this repeater is actually pretty darn good. I think I was told the antenna for it is located on top of the John Hancock building or on top of the Sears Tower or something like that in Chicago. Um, needless to say, it's on on top of a very tall building. And uh, the coverage on it is just awesome. Even here in uh, Wheaton, I can hit it on my 4-watt uh, portables, which, like I said, that's pretty remarkable coverage right there. Um... But there is a downside to it, unfortunately. Um, the uh, GMRS repeater I usually talk on up here, the Joliet repeater, which is uh, farther down south, also is on 462.55 megahertz. And right now there is a huge, huge PL tone conflict going on between the two repeaters, which is uh, supposedly being worked. Um, they're supposedly working on um, something to resolve it. But... Uh, this re repeater operates with a PL tone of, uh, I'm pretty sure, 156.7. That's the PL tone for this repeater. And the Joliet repeater, which I usually talk on, is 114.8. And uh, this repeater actually uh, has something uh, set on it to where if you try to key it up with a 114.8 PL, uh, it'll put out an obnoxious uh, busy tone. And then when you unkey the mic, it'll make a really obnoxious squeal sound. WQXC773 monitoring the Chicago repeater. And uh, that's how it's set up right now. And uh, people know about it. People know what's going on. So they're trying to contact the repeater owners um, to see if we can get this uh, this issue resolved peacefully. To see if they can get the the issue resolved peacefully. And uh, I just started to notice this within the past couple of days when I was uh, trying to key up the Joliet repeater to talk to my buddies down there as usual. But I was uh, instead getting a, a really obnoxious sound, which I thought was coming from Joliet, but was coming from this, uh, it was actually coming from this new Chicago repeater. So uh, the problem is, uh, I'm pretty much midway between the, the two repeaters. So uh, uh, my repeater can hit, or my, uh, my radios can hit both Joliet and Chicago at the same time. And uh, if I try to key up with a 114.8 PL, as I usually do to talk down to Joliet, um, this repeater will feed back at me with that obnoxious tone. So, uh, pretty much, uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty much blocked out of using the Joliet repeater right now until this interference issue, uh, is resolved. Um, they're working on changing the PL tones on one of the repeaters or something like that, so there will be no interference between the two repeaters. But hopefully, uh, within the next couple days, it should be to where I can use both repeaters, um, with no interference. That's what I hope for. It depends on how fast they're able to contact the owner of this uh, new Chicago repeater to see uh, if they can change the settings on it. So um, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna key up both repeaters here. I'm gonna show you guys what happens if I um, I'm gonna key up this repeater on 156.7 uh, the way it should be. I'll I'll do a radio check see if anyone can get back to me. 
and uh, then I'll switch over to Joliet and uh, try to key up on 114.8 and I'll show you guys what happens there and uh, what was causing me so much confusion last week. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to pick up the mic here and uh, call the Chicago repeater first. WQXC773 for a radio check, please. I may get a reply, I may not. Depends on if there's anybody monitoring, so sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Well, uh, the radio works fine, but you guys can hear the feedback, so... Um, there's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to uh, my Joliet channel. And uh, keep in mind, this is the same frequency here, 462.55. And uh, if I try to key up Joliet as usual on 114.8, WQXC 773 testing. You could hear that uh, squeal sound. I'm, I'm not sure if my signal actually got down there because I'm on 114.8. But the Chicago repeater um, does not like that too much. So it uh, it fed back with that that tone. It was uh, pretty clear there. But um, it, it was definitely a lot worse before. But it'll feed back with a squeal sound. And uh, while you're actually talking, it'll uh, put out a uh, the busy tone you hear on a telephone line. So... Um, I was having a lot of problems with this last week, but um, obviously I can tell that they still have not gotten this PL tone issue resolved, which kind of puts me off. But uh, hopefully pretty soon here, um, I will be able to get this, uh, they will be able to get this issue resolved so I can uh, use both repeaters. But uh, there you guys go. There's my current uh, uh, issue kind of with um, GMRS repeaters. So uh I guess uh, that'll be it. Thanks for watching.